Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be a little bit different than my usual uh, readings. This is for a week ahead. I don't usually do weeklies, but I'm thinking about doing them. Uh, if you like this, uh, let me know right below. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of May 11th through the 16th. We're going to go day by day and see what happens. So we get the King of Coins here. Uh, I could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this is, it doesn't have to be. This is somebody who is very stable, solid, secure, hardworking. This person, they were talking, this is Monday, okay? Uh, it appears that this person has a lot to offer, but you got to be careful. It looks like we got a snake here. I never have noticed a snake on this card, which is interesting because I see this card a lot. You could be dealing with a snake. I think you need to be very careful when you see a snake, you know. <laughs> Snakes shed their skin. They do shed their skin, but, and they become something new. So maybe somebody has become a new person. Maybe they're not the same person. Maybe they used to be a snake and they're not a snake anymore. I don't know, but this guy has something in his hand. It is, um, well, it's funny. It looks like he has the world in his hand here. He has the golden opportunity over here. Um, he is, does have the Midas touch. He has the world in his hands. Now, I wonder if this person, um, is well-traveled. Now, the world, and if you think about the world card, he's learned a lesson. We have an individual here that has learned a lesson. And it feels like he's a new person. This is a new person. Very abundant, maybe rich, maybe ha may have a lot to offer. This guy seems to be thinking. He seems to be thinking about what who he wants to give. Who he wants to give to. He definitely has a lot to offer. He knows that he's not the same person he used to be. Um when you when, when you think about abundance, you think about rich. Abundance a lot most well, everybody thinks differently, but abundance really comes from within. Okay? Yes, the King of Pentacles is very materialistic, but this guy has learned something. He has learned he has learned something. He's learned a lesson. So he's a lot of life experience. He's not the same person that he used to be. He's he's more rich. He's rich on the inside. You know what I'm trying to say? So he's been enlightened in some way. So we do have an enlightened individual who uh, has gained some sort of life experience, which is interesting. This reading has started out so fast. We're talking about Monday. So Monday, there's still some sort of battle here. Um, it's not over yet. The battle isn't over yet. So we have a very... Oh, this guy seems to uh, have a lot to offer, put it that way. He has a lot to offer. He's very... Um, strong. This could be like a colonel or something. It's funny. It feels like he's he's a warrior because this is like coming out of the war. This guy is sitting pretty. I'm not sure if he's been in the military or he's a drives a uh, what do you call it? a captain? Could be a captain of some sort. Um, but I, I, I don't know. This is like somebody that is very stable, solid, secure, has learned something, has become a new person, but still fighting, still fighting some sort of battle on Monday. So this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. Okay. This is still fighting a battle. The battle isn't over yet. This guy is still holding out. He's still holding on to his... Whatever he has to offer. He's not offering anything yet. He's holding out. He knows his value. Okay, this king is very valuable and he knows it. But there is still some kind of battle here on Monday. So let's go on to Tuesday. Messages. Ooh, expect a message. <laughs> on Tuesday, you're going to be receiving some messages, whether they're text messages or their phone calls or something in the mail. Expect it, okay? Expect an unexpected message, put it that way. It's a good message. I think it's a positive message, but you may be expecting trouble. Somebody, or this, you know, these can always go vice versa. Tuesday, expecting trouble. We have somebody here that is on the defensive, on the lookout. 
Now, this is, the Nine of Wands is also like a soldier, a wounded warrior. So something that, I'm not sure if there's somebody here that has been in the military or somebody that has been wounded very, very badly. Okay, now they have a guard up. So on Tuesday, we have somebody that is very guarded and has been wounded very bad, has fought a lot. These, these are all the battles that have been won, has had to fight basically their whole life. This person is going to be receiving some messages from somebody on Tuesday and feeling a little distrustful. I don't trust you. Perhaps it's from this person that has changed. Okay, this person has changed, you know, um, it's not over yet. Something isn't over yet. You know, this person that may on Monday is thinking about it. Obviously, they're thinking about doing something. There's this, there's been some sort of battle, by the way. It's not over yet. This battle isn't over yet. There's some sort of communication coming in. Um, on Tuesday, but all is not as it seems. Okay, we got the moon and the ten of swords. So this is on Wednesday. Uh, Somebody is probably, you know, there could be some deception. There could be fear. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Could be dealing with anybody. Okay, could be dealing with cancer. But all is not as it seems. There's something that is hidden that is not being seen clearly. You need to proceed with caution. This could be somebody that has already hurt you. Okay, on Wednesday, you're going to need to proceed with caution. There's some element of pain here with the Ten of Swords. This is, um, uh, you know, somebody could be giving up. It could be the death of a situation with the Ten of Swords. Um, there could be something that happens. This is the, this is, that causes something to, uh, ends a lie or deception or something is shown or something is seen that uh, causes something to end very fast. You know, this person, uh, yes, they've, they've changed. They've learned their lesson, but there's still some sort of trouble, okay, with the Six of Wands reversed. They haven't completely learned. They've learned their lesson, but it's not over yet, put it that way. They're still, they're still highly competitive. They, it's not over. They haven't completely won, okay? Because when it's upright, they've won. They haven't won. The, they haven't won the battle yet, okay? So there's, a, there's messages coming forward to somebody that is very guarded. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. So it's a Tuesday is a distrustful day. Expect a message from somebody that you that may have hurt you. You know that you don't trust. Um. Or vice versa. On Wednesday, all is not as it seems. All is not as it, something. Somebody is hiding something, and you know it could cause a lot of pain. So, you know, you really need to look below the surface here. Look below the surface. If somebody has hurt you in the past, you know they may present themselves to be changed. Remember, we talked about a snake. Okay, they can change their skin. I mean, you've got to be careful here. I feel like on Wednesday, there could be something, you know, um, it could be something that is uh, not as it seems. Okay, the, the moon is ruled by the shadow. You need to be very careful. You could, this is getting hurt. Okay, the Ten of Swords is getting hurt. There could be a breakdown. There could be a breakdown. There could be overkill. Okay, it could be overkill. Somebody could uh, be selling somebody a fantasy, and it could it could be too much. Okay, on Wednesday you could be dealing with somebody who is um, killing you with their illusion. Okay, okay, because I mean you just need to be really careful on Wednesday. I feel like you're going to be um, lied to. I just got to be honest with you. So Thursday, Thursday, beware. I mean, beware on Wednesday. Beware of uh, illusion. Okay, beware of fantasy. All is not as it seems. Proceed with caution. This is an unclear, difficult path that could really hurt you. I think there is somebody that, you know, maybe even be stabbing you in the back. We need an overall energy for Scorpio for the week ahead. I forgot to get that. An overall energy, please, for the week ahead. The Hermit. 
the Hermit. So this is your overall energy. So this is a need to reflect, a time to go within me. Perhaps you need to withdraw from whoever this person is completely. And that doesn't mean forever, but maybe you need to withdraw to think about what this is and who this is and what they're doing and what they're telling you. Is it real? Maybe you need some true alone time to realize what the hell is going on. Listen to yourself, not anybody else. What is your gut telling you? Because I can tell that you need to listen to your gut. You need to listen to your gut. I think that you are dealing with a deceptive individual who... Maybe they say they have changed. And maybe they've changed some. But they haven't changed fully. They haven't won the war yet. They haven't won this battle. Okay? Perhaps you need to completely go within and become consciously aware of who you are now at this time. Who are you? Do you even want to be with somebody that stabbed you in the back? Somebody that lied to you? Somebody that hurt you? Somebody that cheated on you? Do you? Do you want to be with somebody who fought with you that didn't choose you? Or do you? Is that what you want? Think about this. So the overall energy is about thinking. It's about reflection. It's about realizing your true identity. That's the overall energy of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, you know, you got, you're going to be thinking about your value. Okay. Because I feel like you are dealing with an individual who uh, may be a snake and this person may tell you everything that you want to hear. Um... This person is actually, if you think about the Six of Wands, they are very... Six of Wands reversed. Okay, the Six of Wands reversed. They are. They could be all show. It's all show. This is a one-hit wonder, wonder. This is somebody who is very prideful and smug and cocky. You know? This person has no staying power. But they may present themselves to be all that. They may be on social media talking to people all over the world. So I think that you need to be damn careful about whoever you're dealing with. You do. On Tuesday you're going to be receiving messages and I don't and I think that your guard should be up and I think that it's right to be up. I think it's a challenging time on Tuesday. This person is I think that whoever you're dealing with is communicating with several and I think that you know it, but you might not want to know it. I think that you are on guard and you are probably expecting trouble. And I think on Tuesday you should expect a message from somebody who, you know, uh, I feel like this person uh, is very secretive. I feel like this person is... Uh, going to challenge you. Okay, they're going to challenge you. Put it that way. Tuesday you're going to be you're going to be communicating going back with somebody that hurt you. You are. And you need to be damn careful on Wednesday because this person is something is going to be revealed that is is probably going to hurt you even more. They may say something that stabs you. You know? Let's talk about this is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Friday. Oh, Saturday. Somebody's not telling the truth here. Somebody, you got, you're dealing with a liar. Saturday. Injustice. We get the Justice card reversed and the Two of Wands reversed. So Thursday, we got a, we got a, we got a feminine here. Don't know her value. She's easy. She's easy to uh, take advantage of because she lacks self-value and self-esteem and self-worth. She's codependent, she's needy, she's clingy, she um, is overly emotional, she's a mess. So we have a woman here that is a complete mess. She may be drowning in her own emotions and she's very needy, she's very hypersensitive. And you, this hypersensitive woman um, should be getting prepared, she needs to get prepared. Get prepared to, now if you are the masculine, you may be being chased by this woman who doesn't know her value. She's easy. The Empress in Reverse is an easy woman. She's vulnerable. She's vulnerable, she doesn't know her value, okay? So on Thursday, we definitely have a feminine here that 
is suffering okay she's suffering she doesn't know she doesn't know her value she's in some sort of pain she's she's easy to uh, take advantage of um, unfortunately so um, get this is painful not delivering the pain this is get prepared for you know this is this this could be a termination or a loss okay get prepared you know it could be it could be um, overly emotional. There could be some tears. There could be some tears on Thursday. Um, this woman could get very upset. She's selfish. She's smothering. She's very, very smothering. She's needy. So we have a needy feminine here that um, uh, may be jealous. She may be overprotective. She may throw a fit. She may throw a fit. She may be forceful. So get prepared for this feminine to overreact on Thursday. She may overreact. There may be an overreaction because, you know, why? Let's get another card. Because of a third party situation. And I was going to say it because this was a three, but I want a clarification. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. There's a third party situation here. There is. There absolutely is. There is. <laughs> there's no, and I knew that there was there's a third party situation here and there's one woman there's a woman here that doesn't know her value she really doesn't know her value she is so needy that she is willing to overlook the third party so on Thursday I feel as though uh, there's probably going to be some tears maybe some anger maybe um I don't know. Don't look good on Thursday. Six of trouble. Yeah, six of swords reversed. There's going to be some trouble. Turbulence on Thursday from this feminine that is in a third party situation. She's going to cause some trouble on Thursday. So be prepared for some trouble on Thursday. Um, there's going to be some turbulence. There could be, even be a fight. The third party could show up or speak up. She could arrive or speak up or something like that. This is this is reluctant to take a new approach, reluctant to move on, staying in a troubled situation where there is a third party. Because I don't know my value. So I don't know who this is for, but this is sad. It is sad. So, so Thursday is going to be a turbulent day. It's going to be painful because we have this empress that will not deliver her pain. She don't want to deal with the pain. So she's staying in a situation that is very rocky. So Thursday there's gonna there's gonna be there's gonna be rough, okay? Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. But be or this person this person may be jealous of say you've moved on. Say you're the Scorpio that has moved on. This could be this could be an ex. This is that is jealous and causes problems. Thursday, you've got a feminine here that is not happy that is going to cause problems. Period. Be prepared for that. Thursday. Death of a situation or idea with the four of swords reversed. There's a lack of the ace of swords reversed. This is reversed, is a dishonesty, lack of clarification, no communication, not telling the truth exhausted extremely exhausted because somebody uh, is lying or they're not communicating or they're not telling the truth there's a loss of power here on Thursday frustrated Thursday is a frustrating day because there's no communication or there's a lack of communication or there's it's very unclear there's a lack of clarity and something is ended or it is ending or it has ended on Thursday there could be blocked communication or no communication at all. 
So Thursday looks to be very, you know, tired, very extremely tired, drained, exhausted, can't, can't communicate, feeling powerless on Thursday. I'm sorry, but I'm being honest. This is, this is tired, exhausted, no communication on Thursday. No, uh, yeah, no communication. Having a hard time, you know, this is lack of awakening. Having a hard time getting up, getting out of bed. Could be depressed on Thursday. I'm just being honest with you. I'm not going to pretend. Friday. Injustice, not fair. Balance reversed or justice reversed. This isn't fair. Okay. Something not going in your favor. Not happy with the outcome. Placing blame and argument with no resolution in sight. On Friday, two of wands reversed. There's indecisiveness. Um, and there is indecisiveness here as well. So somebody's having a hard time bringing balance to their life, making a decision. There's a disappointment here. There's been, there's, this is like a disappointment. Um, <sighs> being held back, choosing the safest option, not moving forward, staying where you're staying put, not um, stepping into, not making the right decision, not focusing on the future. We have somebody here that is making a wrong decision or they're unable to make a decision. There's a lot, definitely a lack of balance, unable to make a choice, needing to end something, but unable to do so. Um, unable to focus on the future, staying put in a safe situation that really isn't bringing them balance. It's not harmonious. It's not healthy. So on Friday, it's staying put in an unhealthy situation when you should be moving forward. It's, it's an injustice to yourself. Somebody's not being, this is being dishonest with yourself, lying. Somebody's lying to themselves and not choosing not to move forward when they should be moving forward. So I feel like on Saturday, there's still a level of indecision. There's a level of imbalance staying put in a situation that is definitely not harmonious. So Saturday is definitely still a very indecisive day where you really don't know what you're doing. It feels confused. Very, very confusing. Um, dishonesty. Somebody's being dishonest with themselves on Saturday, not wanting to own up to the truth, not wanting to see the truth, not wanting to focus on the future, staying in a situation that is going nowhere, unfortunately. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. So I feel like this week is a, is a week of reflection where you really need to go in and think about who you are. Is this who you are? Is this really who you are? It's time for you to plan your next move. It is a time of planning. It's a time of introspection and reflection this week. That's the main theme. Do you know your value or not? So I think you're going to hear something from this person that doesn't make you happy. And it's time to for plan B. Good luck. <laughs>